What's up Schwartz Force? Welcome back to the channel. Hey, you know what's better than one new watch to review? How about four new watches to review? As you see in the description, a quadruple unboxing. We got Milo here, he's super excited too. And I'm gonna show you what I got from Gallon. I ordered these four watches. These are from their new kind of models they're releasing. And I'm gonna go over them just quickly unboxing and then eventually we'll do our detailed reviews. Um, but before I do that, I just wanted to share with you, as you know, in my giveaway that I did last time with the Gallant Sun and Moon Phase watches and the Gallant Dive watch, I was reaching out to the winner. So Michael won the first place drawing. He got the Dive watch and the blue Sun and Moon Phase Gallant watch. They arrived, everything was good. And he actually mentioned he might be doing some watch reviews on those. So once I get word that the video is out, I will definitely link it for, so you guys can check out his channel. And then Mr. Bradley was our runner up and he got the white dial with rose gold sun and moon phase watch. And so I reached out to him, his arrived as well. And true story, he was sharing with me, you know, that is just so funny, but basically he was telling his wife, it's been such a long time since he's added a Schwartz watch to his collection. <laughs> and he meant to say quartz. He's like, I mean quartz. So I thought that was super fun. Uh, just wanted to share it with you guys because, you know, some stories you just can't make up. And um, I, I just, I think that's awesome how he meant to say quartz watch and he said Schwartz watch. So I feel like we should make, we, that should be something, right? Like I need to invent a new movement for watches, the Schwartz quartz or something like that. I think that'd be hilarious. Just wanted to share that with you guys. Um, but as always, in case if you're new to the channel, my name's Dave, may the Schwartz be with you. And hey, did you know, it's a great day to wear a watch. Today I have on my Skema, Skemi, Skemi, Skeme uh, watch. <laughs> we still, all the comments, we pretty much are all saying it different ways. Um, so I don't think there's any right or wrong way at this point. Just say it how you like. But this is the green chronograph dial uh, watch that I'm wearing on this mesh bracelet. Just giving it some wrist time. You guys know I always like to wear my watches for a little bit before I do a review on it. So this will be coming up in the future. And of course, I'm anxious to do my review on these Gallant watches that I got. And so without further ado, let's get into this unboxing. All right, here we are. Got the four Gallant watches that we're gonna be unboxing. Spoiler alert, I've already unboxed them, but I just wanted to, you know, I was super excited when they arrived. So I checked them all out first, um, but we'll start here and work our way over. Real quick though, for all of the smart asses out there, I know that this isn't an automatic, even though I have it in my watch winder. <laughs> That's just kind of my little display. You know what, I'll even, let's go a step further. <laughs> there you go. Um, just winding up my quartz watch, don't mind that over there. <laughs> so I'm aware this is just a part of my little display, you know, let's just enjoy a little scenery here off to the side. But let's start here. This is a, so this is the one that, um, is not all solid stainless steel. This is the case that I guess is like an alloy, but check out this stainless steel mesh bracelet. And then look at this dial, boom. Silver kind of panda dial. And if you notice that second hand, yep. I was not expecting that. Obviously I only saw these in photos, so I didn't realize you know, what kind of movement it was gonna have or anything like that. And I'm gonna get in touch with my point of contact with Gallant and find out exactly what movement is in this watch. Um, man, this thing is awesome. So of course we have day date complication in the sub dials there with that kind of Panda feature. Um, and then sunburst dial with the Roman numerals. I was really, this watch is just, man, in person, it looks good in camera, but in person, this thing just shines and the light is going nuts with it all over the place. Awesome, awesome watch. Out of all of them, this one kind of blew me away the most from just at initial impressions. Look at this. Okay, so we got the Gallant branding there. Boom. Of course, on the review, we'll go over all the specs and the details, but this is just initial unboxing. Let me know what you guys think of this one. We'll just say watch number one. And then here is our next watch. We'll say watch number two. And as you can see, we've got black PVD tang buckle here and then black PVD coated stainless steel. So this is all stainless steel case and case back, 50 meters water resistance. And this has a Japanese quartz movement. I like this crown, how it has that kind of, I'm just gonna call it the Oreo crown. 
check out that Oreo. Boom. <laughs> it's like an Oreo double stuff. Love it. And then I like the pop of colors with the black and white. When I first saw this, I was like, I gotta check this one out, all blacked out. I know that a lot of guys like blacked out dials, but with the white, you can really see everything, at, not just at a glance, but even, you know, day-day complications here. Pretty easy to read. We got our running second hand down at six o'clock subdial. Um, and I like that it's kind of skeletonized on the minute and hour hands. Really cool look. And this is a smaller watch, so I think this is going to work for a lot more guys out there because it is um, a slightly smaller, I would say, um, I, and I haven't even measured this out yet, but I, I see that it is, it does wear a little bit better. So I think this is going to be a good pick. So I will find out about these straps as far as how easy they may be to replace because as we see it is integrated and so the lug design is a little bit different, a little less traditional than what we're used to. Um, but the strap seems like it's really good quality. That is actual stitching, not just paint and cool little design. So, man, I think I'm gonna have a lot of good things to say about this watch. Watch number two, yay or nay? What do you guys think? So we'll go to number three. Now these three are all kind of similar, but different. And I'll, I'll show you what I mean here. So watch number three, as we can see, is a panda dial and similar but different and kind of inverse of the all black one. So we have a stainless steel, again, solid stainless steel case and case bag, 50 meters water resistant, same movement, the crown similar but inverse. And then we see that textured dial, almost kind of like a pearlescent color. Um, really nice, again, pops with the color and the contrast. And then we see all stainless steel, same strap, and stainless steel buckle with branding, signed crown. So yeah, I think this one is, uh, if you don't want the all black option, you can go with the Panda option. Boom, man, this thing is an eye catcher. So, all right, we got two, two kind of Pandas here. And uh, yeah, you can even see the size difference there on the, as far as the dial size. So there you go, a couple options. So say watch number three, we're gonna set over here. And then last but certainly not least is watch number four. Um, this one is the all stainless steel, again, similar case design and strap, but this has the Swiss movement and the strap is a little bit different. As you can see here, it has black stitching and this is a navy blue dial. I don't know if this is coming up on camera, but what I like is you have a sunburst, I guess we'll say inner dial, and then this matte finish here along the outside, I guess that chapter ring. Um, really cool, no second hand or running second hand. We see a date window there at six o'clock, but just more of a simple kind of design, um, less busy. Here we have on my seven inch wrist, watch number four. So, and this one you can even tell has a different crown as well. This one I like a lot. I mean, I like them all. Check these watches out, guys. This is just at a quick glance, some unboxing of my Gallant watches. So as you know, I got five of the other watches. These four, it's gonna take me a while, but we'll get through them all, guys. And um, I think this is my favorite so far, but I like them all. So make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out. And I will definitely look forward to seeing you guys at the next one. As always, may the Schwartz be with you. Take care.